viewers at yung bawat grupo ng Team Focus natin, magandang gabi sa inyo. And also, to our viewers na nasa Google Meet Crowd. Yeah. Alright, bati muna tayo, Sir Mali. Magandang magandang gabi po sa lahat ng sumusubaybay sa ating pong programa. Keep tuning in, share the link, and tag the names of your friends and relatives so that they too can enjoy this evening. Amen, amen. Alright, so amen. just enjoy Team Focus. Amen, Sir Dominic. Good evening po sa inyo lahat, lalo sa mga sinerang ko ng link, young people. Trusted Timothy Senpags, manood kayo ang maganda pag-uusapan natin ngayong gabi. Ganoon po, maraming salamat. Amen, amen. Alright, and again, keep tuning in. We will be blessed as we continue our topic na pinamagatan nating sidetrack. Alright, but before that, before we proceed with our program, let's hear first the special number for tonight. My best to see the right road When I got a leader for direction I'll follow him, he tells me where to go It's a big, big world There's so much in store A big, big world With a lot of things to explore I don't know what all I'm getting, but I know what I want. It's a big, big world, but I've got a big, big God, got a big, big God. I know there were many things against me. I'm sure I will face a few tomorrow. Got a power living inside me. It's greater still than anything I know. It's a big, big world. There's so much in store. A big, big world with a lot of things to explore. I don't know what all I'm getting, but I know. Got a big, big God, got a big, big God. I can see what all is planned as He teaches me to become a man. I can see He's all I need, and I'll go where He leads. In a big, big world, there's so much in store. A big, big world. I don't know what all I'm getting, but I know what I know. It's a big, big world, but I've got a big, big God, got a big, big God. I don't know what all I'm getting, but I know what I know. It's a big, big world, but I've got a big, big God, got a big, big Got a big, big God. Got a big, big God. Our topic for this September. I walang iba yun. Kita yun sa likuran namin ang tinatawag na side. Yeah. yeah. Dominic, please read Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25 to 27. Basa. Sabi po dito, Let thine eyes look right on, and thine eyelid look straight before thee, under the path of thy feet. Yeah. And let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. It's not Remove about... thy foot from evil. Yun. Napangganda yan. Kaya nga may kita nyo dito, sidetrack. Let's go to the definition. It is a transitive verb. Nang ibig sabihin niyan, to turn aside from a purpose. Yeah. As time goes by, ang dami na ninyo natutunan. Last month, anong topic natin? Stand up, 
and stand out. Yep. Dahil naranasan na natin yan, habang pinag-uusapan natin yan, maraming mga young people ang nag-stand up and nag-stand out. Yun. Pero, Pero sa pagpapatuloy at sa pagpasok ayan. ng kapanahunan ni Jose Marichan, okay. ang nangyari ngayon ay sila ay nasa sidetrack. You see, nakakalimutan nyo na young people, team focus, kung bakit kayo o bakit kayo nandito at bakit may ganito tayong programa at kung bakit natin pinag-aaralan ang magpapatibay sa inyo sa pananampalataya. Amen. Ang problema is, nakatuon lang ang maraming young people ngayon sa present. Hindi kayo nakatuon what's after. Amen. Hindi kayo nakatuon sa patutunguhan. Naka, naka, nakatuon kayo ng pansin sa pangkasalukuyan. You see, kaya nga as kapag dito kayo, young people, team folks, pag nakatuon kayo sa kalagayan yung pangkasalukuyan, maraming sidetrack. Maraming, mar, ma, hindi imposible na kayo ay ma-sidetrack ng jablo. It's because of the reason, maraming, pag, yung pangkasalukuyan talaga ngayon na ginagamit ng jablo na pang, pangligaw sa maraming young people, yan yung mag-aalis sa kanila, sa kanilang purpose. Yan, parang sa takbuhan yan eh. Like for example, sa finish line, di ba? Ang purpose mo makatapos. Man. You see, Man. if ang purpose mo ay makatapos doon sa uh, sa takbo na yon, then dapat ang focus mo na doon dyan lang sa purpose na yon. Yes. Pag alam ng jablo na kayo ay namumuhay sa Panginoon, yung takbo nyo na diretso, kailanman hindi kanyan babanggain ng jablo. Eh, hindi kanyo yung sasalubungin harapan. Bakit? Alam niyo ang pag-straight kayo sa purpose niyo, kasama niyo ang Panginoon, dire-diretso kayo dyan, hindi kayo kayang banggain ng Diablo. Saan niya kayo nadadali? Sa kaliwat kanan. You see that? The same thing din. Parehas na atake ng Diablo sa inyo, yung people. Hindi niya kayo hasagupahin harap-harapan. Because pag alam niyang harap-harapan, alam niyang diretso yung takbo mo, ay guided to ng Diyos. Dire-diretso eh. You see? Ponder yung kanyang, yung the, path, yung the path of his feet or her feet is pondered by the Lord. Tama nyo na nandito kayo sa kondisyon na to. Bakit ko sinasabi yan? Ha? Tingnan nyo, mundong-mundo ang makikita sa imahe ninyo at wala kayo sa purpose ninyo. Very simple yan. Di ba? Napaka-importante yan. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, huwag kayong papayag na paglaruan kayo ng jablo sa bagay na yan. You see, check nyo yung sarili nyo. Sidetrack na kayo matagal na. Amen. You see? Oh, sabi ko nga sa inyo eh. Dito, yeah, sa mga young people na lalaki, dito ang trademark na simbahan natin. Ang isang, sabi nga ni Pastor, makikilala ka that you are my young people. Young people ka ni Pastor Hill. Ibig sabihin, ikaw ay young people na inaalaga ni Pastor Hill sa simbahan na ito. Ang palatandaan niyan, lalo na sa mga lalaki, lalabas kang kagalang-galang. Ama. Pag nasa labas ka, gagalangin ka. Hindi ka pag nasa labas, katutuwaan ka kasi, oy okay ito. Kasi, alam mo naman, okay lang tayo mag-vape pagkatabi natin ito si brother ganito. <laughs> di, di siya KJ, di siya KJ. Hindi. Ang sinasabi ko sa inyo yung people eh, dyan yung malalaman na sidetrack na kayo. Bakit? <laughs> Pagka-relax na relax yung isang sinner, gumawa ng kasalanan. When a sinner is relaxed to do, to commit sin with an, a believer, I'm telling you, that's the worst part. Uh, ngayon pa lang, i-check nyo yung sarili nyo. Na kayo ay focused, naka-look straight lang kayo dun sa, focus lang kayo dun sa purpose ninyo. If you're already turning aside from your purpose. Dito, dito sa verse number 25, alam nyo napakagandang talata nito. Sabi ng Bible, let thine eyes look right on. Maintain your focus. Para makarating ka doon sa papatunguhan mo, huwag kang dadaan sa isang bagay na hindi papunta doon sa papatunguhan mo. Sabi nga ng atin, sabi nga ni Pastor, naalala ko yun sa pinagmitingan ng full time eh. Para mapanatili mo yung masayang paglilingkod mo sa Panginoon at yung apoy ng paglilingkod mo sa Panginoon, huwag mo i-involve ang sarili mo sa hindi mo, uh, o, sa hindi part ng iyong occupation. Focus ha. Kaya, kaya meron tayong mga bagay na hindi natin natatapos sa buhay natin. Yeah. Purposes, goals. Kasi nasa sidetrack tayo. That's right. Naalala ko na. Sabi ni Sergio kanina, hindi na fulfill yung purpose natin. Yeah, that's right. Kaya, kaya nga ating focus eh. Mag-focus ka muna. Look straight. Manatili ka lang kung saan ka doon nakatingin. Eto, kaya natin ginawang topic ito ngayon. Papunta na kasi tayo sa December. Yeah, yeah. Totoo And yun. we know what's coming. Yeah. And what's coming is really what is making a lot of young people yes. compromise their yes, Christian living. Yes.
Bless Amen. 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 We just we just finished greeting naman. Ikaw naman. Masyado ka naman. Pati ka ulit kagad eh. Kung mabati ka ulit agad. Kasi ah, mabati na tayo kanin. Oo, oh, may ganun may bati ah, kagad. Kasi eh. alam mo naman na sana yan ako na. Yeah. But anyway, speaking of the recap, napakaganda ng recap. Palakpakan naman natin si Sister Hope. Nandito. Nandito si Mr. Hope. Oh. Tayo, tayo. Tayo. Yung ating, uh, yung ating recap. Yan. Hindi yeah. naman yeah. naman yan. Yeah. 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 Amen. Ay, Amen. Ba't siya tumaya? Alam mo, ang nakakatuwa yung recap kasi it is very important. By the way, sa mga ano no, sa mga nanonood virtually and para sa inyo na mga nandito. Actually. Actually. Virtually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, ang ibig ko lang sabihin, huwag nyo i-take for granted yung recap. Yeah, yeah, Alam nyo, I have a purpose kung bakit ko kinausap, pinakiusapan si Sister Aubrey besides over her busy schedule. Hindi yeah. man dyan eh. Sobrang na busy schedule oh, niya. Oh, Sobrang na ng schedule niya. Buti nga naisingit tayo eh. Uh -uh. Oh, di ba? Pero di totoo yan. Yeah. The reason why I ask her para doon sa recap na yun, kasi siyempre Thursday tayo eh. Di ba? Isang ilang araw ang lumilipas yeah. para malaman natin ulit kung ano yung pinag-usapan. Yeah. You see? Kaya, I'm, I'm praying and I'm hoping na kayong mga nandito at kayong nanonood sa via Google Meet and also sa ating uh, uh, Facebook Live, no? I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying na you're paying attention to that kasi yeah. that will refresh you doon sa ating pinag-usapan last week. Amen. Di ba? Kasi, anong, anong man sasabi mo, Sir Dominic, pagdating sa recap na yan? Maganda sir kasi ako yes, mismo. Yes, yun din yung sinabi ko eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ako mismo na nagsasalita, kailangan ko po nung recap. Tayo na yeah, mismo yeah. host. Yeah, yeah tama. Oo, oh, oh, kasi hindi kaya tayo nanonood. Nag-replay <laughs> ako. Nagkita <laughs> 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 nga eh. <laughs> ako ka, bago punta dito eh. Oh, <laughs> 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 Alam mo, nung nakaraan ko pa yung pinapanood eh. Ay, pambira. Oo, oh, oh, talagang ano. Totok na totok ka talaga dyan eh. Tiwala naman kayo, kagagawa lang yan eh. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> ibig ko sabihin, actually, pinasa ko yan na doon sa kaibigan natin na uh, po mamaya, papakilala natin. Yung guest yeah. natin. Pinakilala ko na yan, pinakita ko na sa kanila kung ano yung episode natin last week. Uh, para may heads up na sila doon yeah. sa ating yeah, itatakal yeah, ngayon. Kasi, pero alam mo sir, na-appreciate ko yung recap nung nasa tarlak ako, sa totoo lang. Oh yeah, yeah. Totoo, totoo yan. Napakaganda talaga kasi, alam mo yung, yung mga uh, nag-uusap yung mga tao doon, yung mga young people doon sa tarlak na, na nag-uusap. Nakikita ko sila na uh, pati doon sa recap, tutok na tutok talaga sila eh. Kasi it is very important, tama nga yung sinabi. English and Sarah, it is very yes. important. Oh, medyo konti-konti na natin. Si yes. mamaya, sunod-sunod na to. Hindi, mamaya, magkakano ko eh. Sasakit siyang ko mamaya 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 eh. Sasakit siyang Yung recap kasi, mga team focus, yan yung isa sa mga bagay na magpapa-excite sa inyo sa ano kaya yung susunod na topic. Yes, that's right, that's right. That's right. Kaya kung kayo nagbumubuo ng ano, kung kayo nag, uh, ano tawag doon, nag insight Yo, by the way, yo, I would like to, ano, a shout out, give a shout out doon sa mga nag insight Naikita yeah, ko yan eh. Sa oh. mga GC, lalo sa mga kababayin na grupo, okay. meron kayong insight. Keep up the good spirit on yeah. doing that. Yeah. It's very important na meron kayong reflection sa lahat na napapakinggan nyo. Totoo, Kaya napakaganda yun, sir, kasi... Alam mo ako, parang ako na makikinig, may excited ako eh. Maganda yung That's episode right. doon nakaraan. Ano kaya nakaabang na episode niya? Yo, yun yeah. yung pinaka ano. And that is the very purpose of the oh, By the way, Sir Maki, let's welcome first yung mga nasa Google Meet. Google Meet. Oh, if we can see them lahat ng mga nasa Google Meet crowd natin, our viewers. Yeah, amen. To those of you na nasa Google Meet, wave your hands, wave your hands. A blessed evening to all of you. Pakita natin ah, solo nila. Yung mga yeah. Nasa virtual. Virtual crowd natin. And for those of you na nakasarado ang camera, uh, yeah, if you can open your cameras, yeah, that will be great. The birthday boy himself. Amen. Amen. Mas maganda buksan niyo yung mga camera niyo niyo. Yan, yeah, amen, amen. And uh, yan, yeah, nakita natin. Yun, sumisilip na. Ah, Sir Conrad, itanda mo, may, may uh, bumati sa'yo, ha? Pinost ko sa wall mo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, Pinost ko. Yan, yeah, anyway, yan. Yeah. Of course, as you can see them, they are all there. Again, keep tuning in and keep growing sa mga nasa stations. Alright, walang mag-off ng camera. Alright, so of course, sa mga nasa Facebook Live natin, keep tuning in as well. Yep. Because of this time, we held 78. Viewers, as all this time, kasi meron tayo sa Google Meet. Pero, if you can share and pass the link sa mga kaibigan ninyo, that will be a great blessing. Alright? So, hindi na natin ito patatagalin. Huwag na. Sir. As we promised Tapusin them. Tapusin na natin ito. Yes. Oh, tayo oh, oh, oh. As we promised <laughs> them, as we promised uh, uh, you, Team Focus, last Thursday, meron tayong guest. We have a special guest tonight. Special guest. Tonight, we have a special guest. Tonight, we have a special guest. And a special child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a special guest tonight. And uh, of course, I uh, 
We are so blessed that this is the last on their uh, on his last uh, uh, visit here, or last day of visit here, or being here in the Philippines. Oh. Yeah, last yeah. day of visit. Last day of visit. Yeah, yeah. That's but that's I mean, uh, there's uh, there's maybe someone is you know, know may sound <laughs> Yeah, or oh, maybe my. maybe someone is uh, uh, <laughs> crying or whatsoever yeah. it is because it will be the last time. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. That they'll yeah. be together. Sa- you know. And uh, that's why he bought a lot of handkerchiefs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's welcome our guest for tonight. <laughs> I would like to uh, question. Let's welcome our guest for tonight, Brother Blake and Brother Spencer. Amen. 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 Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Amen, brother. Amen. Uh, have a seat, sir. Have a seat. You uh, say there, Brother Spencer, with the brother okay, Thank you for enjoying the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm on the door. All right, all right. Uh, amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm on the door. I'm on the door. I'm on the door. I'm on the door. All right, all right. So, uh, are you, uh, I'm going to ask them first Are you all ready for your nosebleeds? All right. We have to ask them if they're ready for uh, their bleeding noses, you know. It's very important. Well, again, we're glad that you are with us, Brother Blake and Brother Spencer. And uh, give them a big round of applause. Yeah. Amen. 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 We're so glad. You, you feel good in that chair. This is a yeah. American size chair. Yeah, that's for one, one person one only. One American. One American, Amen. yeah. Amen. <laughs> well, anyways, again, we're glad that you are with us tonight. Maybe you can uh, try to greet our viewers. What's that? I'm not going to compose my mind. Try. They're trying to process first what they're going to say. Like, <laughs> you, know. Uh, you, you know, Pastor Blake and Brother Spencer, uh, good evening. <laughs> good evening, bro. Good evening. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe you wanted to uh, greet the, our viewers. So, Brother Spencer, try to greet our viewers. And, of course, this will be watched worldwide. Yeah, yeah. Greet your wife. No Gre- pressure. What? Huh? No pressure. What? No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Brother Spencer. How you guys Don't doing? mess up. <laughs> greet, like introduce myself? No, yeah, just greet the, the viewers. If you want to give a shout out to your uh, family in the states, you know, Hello they'll everybody. they'll see this. We'll 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 send you the link of this. I'm gonna show so, everyone. Yeah, you know, you have to show everyone. <laughs> yeah, beat water. <laughs> hey, mom and dad, I love you guys. And uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I miss you guys, and I'll see, I'll see you guys soon. So yeah, and thank you everybody for. Watch. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a <laughs> processing. He's processing. <laughs> yeah. There's a comment here. Brother John Rodrigo, he said, uh, Sir John Hill, where's Brother Spencer's coin purse? <laughs> coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we don't have to talk <laughs> about that. Because he was with us this, uh, this uh, <laughs> afternoon, yeah. He was with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the pink one or the brown one? What's yeah. It? Oh, it's it's the brown one. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. 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 Uh, so tell them your name, your complete name, your, your age. age, address. <laughs> uh, Spencer Keith Nahara. I'm 18 years old. My address is 720. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, brother Spencer here is 18 years old. Wow. 18? 18 years old. 18 years old. 18? What's your What's your height? I'm like six two. Six two. <laughs> Give or take. Yeah. So short. <laughs> <laughs> Six to 18 years old. Wow, wow. Amen. Six to? Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. It's a good, it's a good, it's a realizing that you are uh, with us. They're laughing at uh, Brother Maki. <laughs> That's the comment section. All right. Well, anyways, uh, Brother Blake, maybe you want to uh, uh, greet our viewers. Yes, and, uh, yes. All right. I'm, uh, I'm Blake Nahara. I'm the assistant pastor at Grace Baptist Church amen. in amen. Colorado amen. Springs, Colorado. Amen. Uh, I've been full-time in the ministry for six years. Uh, I love the Lord. And listen, I love young people. Amen, I amen. I absolutely love young people. Uh, I believe that young people are the most powerful, influential group. That's, that's, right. Right. That's, right. that's right. That's right. I do. I do. I believe that young people, uh, if you look at the trends in the world, uh, young people decide what's cool. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Not all people. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, and if you look, 
the devil is after young people because he's not stupid. That's right. He's not stupid. You're right. Uh, I just love young people. I know what they can do for the Lord. I, yeah. I, I know what they possess in their, in their capabilities uh, of service for God. And I'm just excited to be here. I know many people are watching. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at the screen, and believe it or not, I even recognize some of you. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just excited to be here. I pray God uses me to be a blessing. Amen. 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 All right. Let's go to our let's go to our topic, uh, Brother Blake, because we were talking about this topic before we had this uh, program. You know, this is very important for the young people to hear because I want these young people b before they're hearing it from us that we're just telling them about uh, what's what's there in the states. You know, because we've seen it too. What's happening there, and there may be they they may be seeing it in the uh, social media, but you know. It's it's a uh, it's a great blessing if they will hear it from you is, since you're also the assistant pastor and you know what's happening to the uh, uh, the difference of the young people Christian young people there and the young people here and the blessing because I want them to see how blessed they are since we're talking about being sidetracked you know the sidetrack here I was telling them and I already mentioned this to you as well before that the reason of our uh, uh, or the things that sidetracks these young people are the things that are coming from the West. Oh, you know, yes. coming from the states, it's oh, the same yes. thing. Oh, but yes. the problem is, uh, the problem is, you know, some of them are willing, not willing to be sidetracked, but there are still young people. You know, yes, <laughs> it yes, seems like yes. it's okay for them to be sidetracked. Well, you see, so uh, can you share something to us and uh, encourage these young people? Yes, uh, you know, absolutely. Uh, regarding that, uh, our topic. Okay, I love the topic. Uh, I, I understand. <laughs> Last month, you guys have been talking about uh, standing firm. Right? And yes, standing sir. fast. Yeah, stand, stand up and stand up out. And stand out. Yeah. Amen. Um, I, I love that. I love, the, I love what's behind me right now. Sidetracked. Yeah. All right? Sidetracked. Um, just as uh, 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 Brother John Gill just said, I know that young Filipinos and Filipinas, I know you watch America. All right? I know you do. I want to talk to you about your eyes. Yeah, let that's good. Let thine eyes look right on and let the eyelids look straight before thee. Before thee. That's our you main text. Be, yes, you got, you got to be careful with where you're looking. Where you're looking. Um, if you're looking at America for the guide, for, for the way to go, I'm telling you right now, you're not looking in the right place. Yeah, Amen. that's right. That's uh, right. Uh, to be like an, an American should not be your goal. If yeah. God wanted you to be an American, you would have been born in America. Yeah. Uh, God made you Filipino, all right, because that's what he wants you to be. Amen. All Amen. Right? Uh, the Bible tells us this. The Bible tells us in several places throughout the word of God uh, to be single-eyed. To be single-eyed. Yeah. Uh, number one, you can't have your eye on God and then the other eye on the world. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that. Yes, sir. You, you ever seen somebody that's cross-eyed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right? yeah. You don't want to look cross-eyed. Yeah, they, they're okay. avoiding it. I, I, I love the young people in my country. I do. I, lo I love young people all over the world. Um, but many of you know... Um, you know, my little brother, he's going to Bible college here in the Philippines. Just graduated high school. Uh-huh. And he's going to Bible college here, not America. Not, not, not America. And I can tell you why. Because I do not like the distractions that await young people in America. Yeah. I know Amen. here there's less distractions. Uh, I believe in your father, by the way. I believe in Pastor Gil Lorena. Uh, truly a, a, a true man of God. Amen, amen. amen. He has his eyes set on the right Yes, sir. Thing. Yes, sir. Uh, he has yeah. his eyes amen. set on Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. And at the end of the day, that's where every single one of your eyes has got to be for your goals. Uh, that's don't right. Put your goals off, uh, don't put your eyes off of Jesus uh, because... You, you, your goals. By, by the way, your goals should be in Jesus Christ. Amen. Not outside Amen. Jesus Amen. Christ. Uh, that will affect everything. That will affect the man or the woman you marry. That will affect uh, the, the future job that you have. That will yeah. that will affect uh, uh, you, just your future in, in general. The direction you go in in life is where your eyes are. You understand when we walk, we follow our eyes. 
You know, if I, if, I, if I wanted to go over there, that's where I have to look in yeah. order to walk over there. Yes, sir. You know, I'm, I, I, you don't walk like this. <laughs> that's not, that's, not, yeah. how, that's yeah. not how it works. So I, with young people, I can, I can tell a lot of young people um, where you're headed just based on where you're looking. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's just right. based on where you're looking. Uh, I, I, I look at the young people here, just sitting here tonight. And I, I'm proud of you. Amen. I want you Amen. to know I'm proud of you. I know how hard the world is. I know yeah. the temptations. Uh, I, I, I know the lure that the devil uses uh, uh, to pull young people. But you're here. You're faithful. You're in Bible college or you're in the Christian school. Uh, you're soul winning. Listen, this is a powerful thing. This is a powerful thing. Uh, just keep your eyes on the Lord. Remember, it's all about your eyes. You cannot be sidetracked if your eyes are on Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. What do you think, brother? Yeah, you know, sir, that's, that's a good thing that you mentioned a while ago. You know, the, you know we're, we're always explaining it to them that you cannot look in the other, in the other direction and walk in another direction. Yeah, you that actually, that's, that's, that's intellectual, you know, that's, that's uh, like, how, how should we address it? It's like... It's very basic, you know. It's yes. very basic to know, and uh, it's really practical to know. And, uh, you know, it's a common sense, actually. <laughs> it's, it's that's it. It's common sense. sense. Yes. Because, you know, you want, you want this life. Like, what the, the problem right now is that the young people, they want a Christian life. They want to live for Christ. But still, they're getting sidetracked by the world. Mm. I like what you said a while ago. You cannot look on the Lord and walk in the world. No. No, that's you two can't. different things. Yes. You see, that's why uh, I've been, uh, we've, that's, the, that's the point of these topics, so that they'll understand that when you decided to look on the Lord, to look unto the Lord, then you have to make it sure that you will not look on the other, on other ways. Yes. You will not look on your left. You will not, that's why, yes. that's, that's our passage here in Proverbs chapter 4. That's our passage yes. here, verse number 25. I like that verse in verse number 27. Turn not to the right hand or to the left. Oh, Le yeah. Remove thy foot from evil. Yes. You see, yes. that's the, that's a problem. The problem, main problem right now here is that it seems like it's hard for them not to be sidetracked. Yeah. Mm. But the truth is that it's it's easy not to be sidetracked. Just don't look on your left and don't look on your right. Right. Just right. pay attention well, to the Lord. Look where it tells you to look. Look. It says, and let thine eyelids look straight. Straight. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Straight. Straight. Amen. The Bible tells us you know, Jesus is, is speaking. He says, uh, no man that putteth his hand to the plow. Yeah, that's and it. And looketh back is fit for the kingdom of God. That's right. And that's I'll right. And I'll tell you what happens. All right. If you have a plow in your hands and you're serving God and you're working and you're laboring that's for it. the Come Lord. On. Amen. That's good. And, and listen, when they're plowing, when they were plowing rows into the field okay those rows had to be straight yeah that's those right. roads had that's to right. be straight if that's they right. took their eyes off of the straight path and they looked back you know what happened to that row that row started going crooked yeah all right well that path that row is your life is your life all right and if you're not looking straight ahead, if you're not looking straight ahead at Jesus Christ, if you're not looking straight ahead at, at finishing Bible college, at, at, at reading your Bible every day, at, at having your prayer time every day, of being a soul winner every day, you start looking over to the world. Listen, remember what I told you earlier, your body is going to follow your eyes. So yeah. if you start looking over here, you're going to start going oh, over there. And, and like what you and said a while ago, it will really affect your future. Yes. Because when you when they plow, the reason why it has to be straight, because that's where you're going to plant seed. That's yes. where, that is yes. where you're going to plant what yes. you're trying to yes. put in there, you know? Yes. So and if it's gotta, in the wrong way, uh, you, you gotta, cannot expect yes. better fruits. No, you got to be careful what you look at. Yeah. You know, the Bible tells us, and don't even look at alcohol. Yeah. That's yeah. what the Bible yeah. says. Why? Because if you look at it, you're this much closer to now doing it. Yeah, yeah. tasting it. Tasting it, yeah. being drunk. Yeah. You know, and it all started with just a look. Yeah. You got to be careful where because, you look. Because Satan will make you curious on those things. Oh, yeah. You know, you know yes. it's, a, it's a great blessing that uh, we, we are, you know, you know, I've grown up in this church. You know, I can, uh, it's a great thing that, you know, the church is always giving to us the truth of sin. 
So that even though, you know, we cannot deny the fact that the truth that, you know, say it might, you might not be looking on your left or on your right, but Satan will really try a way to cross your way. Oh, yeah, man. Sometimes you yes. will not look on the left. You, you, put, you put this in mind, young people. Team Focus, tandaan nyo ito. Put this in your mind. There will be times that you will not look on the left. You're not looking on the right. You're just looking straight. Yes. But yes. Satan will make a way to cross your path. Oh, yes, brother. So that he will just try to get your attention. Just, you will just try to get your eyes. <laughs> Notice yes. him. Yes. Notice the sin. Or, you know, there's, there's this guy. Oh, Brother Spencer is here. <laughs> uh, He's here for uh, yes. for Bible school. Yes. You know, Satan. What, what Satan will try to do? I know his brother. You know, he, he's uh, he, he already gave him the instruction. You know, to focus on your purpose here. You know, but <laughs> I'm Satan. <laughs> yeah, I will try I to cross his path. Maybe a Filipino woman can attract her. <laughs> yeah, and get her out of his track. Yes. Yeah, yes. it could happen. Yes. You know, it, it, Pastor Hill may, may, made a comment here. I just want to read it. That supposedly this is Brother Dominic's uh, job, but I'll just do it. You know, <laughs> I'll just do it. Yeah, because uh, they they got sidetracked. Sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. It, uh, yeah, but, but he, he, he mentioned, you see, Satan doesn't want us to read yeah, it. Yeah, I know it. But he mentioned a while ago. He, he mentioned well, I just I just laughed from the comment section <laughs> but again Pastor Hill commented here that he said uh, it's sad uh, it's sad that uh, an American young man went to the Philippines to be influenced yes. uh, by God's word and it's sad that young young people from here in our country desires to be influenced by the United States. Oh, man. By Mary. You know, it's sad. I agree. I yeah, agree. It, I can tell you this. Listen to me, all right? And I'm just going to be blunt because I don't, I don't like to beat around the bush. It doesn't do yeah, it, it, it. This is what he said. What An he American said. young man came to our church to be influenced. So that's so sad that some young people desires the influence of America. Yeah. Yeah, it's really sidetracked them. You know, uh, oh, yeah. here in the Philippines, young people are very you know, curious, trying to I uh, try to uh, they they want to try the things that what you have back there. We have a, we have a saying in America, curiosity killed the cat. Uh-huh. That's good. That's good. Curiosity killed the cat. All right. Uh, I can uh, let me just be honest with you, okay? Um, if any of you went to America, it probably destroy you. That's right. It probably yeah. it probably oh yeah you. yeah I'm seeing a lot oh, I'm seeing you know, a lot brother, don't you? I know I'm you, I'm you, very I'm very I'm seeing it I'm yes. seeing a lot of those in the standard wise oh yes yeah no oh yes oh yes you know it's a it's a powerful thing listen for the young people here it's a powerful testimony for for you to have that a young person from America is coming here to learn from this place. Yeah. Think, I, want yeah. you to think, yeah. I want you to think about that. Yeah. You know, and, and that should cause you to cherish what you have here. That should cause you to, to have, a, you know, holy pride of what God's doing here. Amen. Because isn't it all about the Lord? Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Amen. I mean, right? That's what it's all about. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I, I get scared for young people. Yeah. I think young people don't realize how fragile life is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, but you know, because, <laughs> yeah, like I said... Uh, the reason why they're easily being sidetracked by the world, because some of them, you know, their your their their attention to God's word, their attention to the Lord, it wears off. It seems like we were telling them before from our past uh, episodes, we were telling them that it seems like your attention to God has an expiration date. Mm. Good for a month, good yeah. for three months, good yeah. for half the year, right. but at the end of the year, or it's just an event, <laughs> events won't matter, you know, if there's a this the you will just pay attention to the Lord if we have we have the church anniversary. Yeah. You will be yeah. busy for the Lord when we have the yes. revival. Yes. We will be busy for the for the Lord if we have this church events. But after that, <laughs> they're again they're back on being sidetracked. Yes. You see, and the truth is, young people put this in mind. The truth is the problem right now, they're they're not anymore sidetracked because they already know it's just a uh, side <laughs> distraction. Yeah. It's already a distraction from Satan. They already know it, you know. But the, the problem is just that they choose. You know, they, they choose to go with it. They choose yeah. to go that path, that direction. You, you say, you, okay, so I'm a preacher. Amen. Amen. I preach. Amen. Now, I'm not going to preach at you, but I'm going to be truthful tonight, okay? 
Um, I know I know the Philippine culture. I'm learning it. Amen. And young people, I know you look at social media more than you look at your Bible. Oh, That's right. right. That's oh, right. yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. Go ahead. Listen. <laughs> you, you, I, hey, listen. Look at me. Everybody look at me. Okay? Do you spend more time on Facebook than you do reading your Bible and praying? That's right. That's now, we're right. talking about being sidetracked. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay? I'm not against technology. Yeah. I believe it can be a great oh, yeah. tool for the Lord. Yeah. Jesus yes, sir. I yes, do. sir. Okay? But there, it, sh it shouldn't outweigh the Bible. It shouldn't outweigh prayer. Yeah. If we were to put it on a scale and say, this is how much time you spend walking with God, and then this is how much time you spend on social media, what would weigh more? What would weigh more? Yeah. You know, you got to remember, it's our eyes that sidetrack us. This, that's where that verse started with, is our yeah. eyes. And if all you're doing is looking and scrolling and scrolling, you know, the eyes, uh, we have a saying in America, the eyes are the gateway to the soul. Oh, yeah. It's in the Bible. Amen. Yeah, it's in the Bible. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. You know, uh, you can't serve two masters. That's it. That's it. You, you, you can't serve two masters. Yeah. You know, and young people where you struggle is making a choice. Yeah. Making a choice of, uh, 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 of who you're going to serve. That's right. And that's why you go back and forth. That's why for a month you're doing really good. And then you get sidetracked. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it's kind of up and down. It's up and down. Because, see, listen, young people, if you would just learn a word, it's called resolve. Yeah. Resolve. I'm going to tell you a story in the Bible of resolve, okay? One of my favorite stories, real fast. And you yeah, know it. But there was three Hebrew boys. Boys, yeah. Young men, young men, all right, who were threatened with their lives that if they did not bow, that they would be cast into the fiery furnace. Now, I love the response of these three young men. Radshak, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. I love it. Amen. They yeah. looked at the king, and I love what they said. They said, let it be known, O king. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about the yeah. king of the world at that time, the oh, most, yeah. powerful, the most person powerful person on the planet who held their lives in his hand. Yeah. And they didn't cower. Yeah. Uh, you know, they didn't get scared. You know, they didn't, they didn't get sidetracked. Even through death, they looked at the king. They said, hey, let it be known, O king. Yeah. My God is able to deliver me. Yeah. But if he doesn't, Amen. let it be known, we will not bow. Yeah. We will not bow. And I want to tell you something. Listen, because we three young men did not get sidetracked and had resolved. God used those three young men to win the whole nation back to him. Yeah. E e even the Babylonian nation. To, lean, to, to, to win that nation back to God, where they started preaching the Bible again. They started practicing uh, pure doctrine again in the nation. The king saw that. <laughs> you know, he saw the fourth man in that fiery oh, furnace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, God did deliver them. Yeah. Listen, when you have resolve in your life to serve God, and you're single-minded, and you're not sidetracked, God will deliver you. Yeah. God will deliver you through your hard times. He'll deliver you through your scary times. Yeah, you that's, know right. I mean? that's right. That's right. I just, I, I, young people, you're powerful. Yeah. You're powerful. Uh, you possess a great ability to do something powerful for, the, for yes, Jesus sir. Christ. Yeah. But you can't get sidetracked. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you, you know, you're, that's a great story, sir, because, you know, the problem of young people today, we're trying to show them, you know, young people always put this in mind. We're trying to show you the problem so that you will know the reality of life. Yes. You know, that's our, that's our pastor's instruction to us. Every time as for, the, for the preachers here, he's, he keeps on telling us, when you preach, you have to make sure that the reality of life is always connected Amen. with the Word of God. Because the only one that can talk about the reality or the only book that can... Uh, Give us the truth on life is the word of God. Yes. You see, that's why we're always telling these young people about the truth over the reality of life or what's happening when it comes to their Christian life. And, you know, sir, that story of Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego, this, this, the three Hebrew boys, 
You see, I like I like their uh uh their uh let's say their courage. Oh yeah, man. You see, and what you know you just mentioned a while ago, that's a good illustration not to be sidetracked. Because yes. young people listen to this. You were you haven't been there yet. Right. I mean you haven't right. been in their situation. Hindi pa kayo dumadating dun sa sitwasyon nila. I don't what's their situation? That's a life and death. You see, they were ne they were never sidetracked, even though they are in the situation of life and death. Yes. And it's a great blessing for you, young people. Na in our times today, young people, lagay yung sa isipan yung wala pa kayo dun sa panahon na you're not yet in the time that like what they have before. If you're going to serve your God, you'll die. Yeah, we'll no. kill you. Yeah, yeah. So you choose. You'll serve God. You'll die. Oh yeah. You you you'll you'll uh, renounce your faith. You will live. It's a great blessing na wala na kayo doon. You're not in that situation. You see, because if you, <laughs> be honest, uh, yes. you know, you've got to be honest. If this phone right here can sidetrack you, how Come about on. when it comes oh, to yes. life and death? Yes. You see? <laughs> ilan, kaya, ilan kaya sa inyo mga kapag hindi, ang hindi magpapasidetrack kapag ka nadudun na kayo, pinapili na kayo. Mm. You see, when mm. it comes to choosing, I was telling them that when it comes to choosing on what they're going to do, Will they allow themselves to be sidetracked when it comes to life and death situation? But the truth is, one of the things that they have to see right now is it's a life and death situation of their spiritual life. You better believe it. It's you a spiritual it. life and death situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. You see, before, physical yun, that's physical. They will really kill you. Your mga Baptist forefathers natin, the reason why they are killed is because of their faith. You see? Ngayon, hindi nyo na dinadanas yun. But, what's worse now is the spiritual life and death situation. You see, it will really kill your spiritual life. It, it'll kill it. <laughs> the world, yeah, yes. the world is trying to kill your spiritual life. Yes. You see, the world is trying to hinder you to have that, you know, your spiritual life alive. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Listen, young people, I'm not, I'm not bragging, but the devil almost completely destroyed me yeah yeah you listen to this young people uh, young, yeah. you listen I, I i and many of you know i i've been arrested i've been in jail nine times nine no. times yeah wow listen jail's a scary place especially when you're a young man yeah yeah you know there's there's bad people in jail yeah. i had to go through some very bad things while i was in jail uh drugs yeah. Drugs almost killed me. Yeah. Multiple times. My little brother. Not this one, but another one. You know? Uh, this is the devil's plan for you. If he can just get your eyes off of God. And listen, I tell you a big reason why young people struggle with keeping their eyes on God. Okay? Because in order to keep your eyes on the Lord, you have to trust him. You have to trust God. I know, I know how young people are. Every young person watching and every young person sitting here today, you know what you want more than anything, man and woman. You know what you want? You want to be married. Yeah. You want a husband or you want a wife someday. And that is, the, remember, how, remember how Brother John Gill said, remember how he said, listen, the devil will come around. Yeah. And even though you don't take your eyes off, he'll put it right in front of you and distract you. Yeah. Okay? Now this a lot of the times is a boy, is a girl. Yeah. Okay? And if you don't trust God, if you don't trust God that God has the man I'm going to marry. Yeah. God has the woman I'm going to marry. All right? And it walks by. Guess what? You end up doing this. You're looking straight and the dev devil sends them this way and you. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you start to do. Yeah, and that's you it. stop trusting God. Oh, I really like them. I hope they like me. I ho hey, who cares if that's the person that God has for you? They're going to someday yeah. at the right time. Yeah, hey. that's right. At that's the right. right time. That's right. You know, when you trust God, God will never drop you. God will never walk you off the edge of a cliff. Yeah. Amen. That's right. You got to trust the Lord. You've got to trust God. You cannot lean on your own heart. You that's cannot right. lean on your own understanding. Yeah, that's what, but this is great what Pastor Hill said here in the comment section. To be sidetracked is to be diverted into a secondary position from the primary position. Uh, yes. You see, that, that's always the case. That's always the case for a lot of young people nowadays. 
You see, to, when you get sidetracked, you know, when you get sidetracked, you will lose your, you will not find yourself in your primary position. You will find yourself in a position where God doesn't want you to be there. And God doesn't want you to be there. Like, like I said, I mean, I've been always in our church. We're not going to. We're, this, is, this is a blessing that we have this program for our church. You know, we're, trying, we're not trying to brag on this. I was telling them we're not trying to brag on this. And we're not trying to, you know, not to allow the others to be blessed by this. You know, this, is for, this program is for everyone as well. But God intended prim, the primary focus is for this church. That's why we have this. The reason why I'm telling it to them because... You know, we cannot find, the, again, as I said, we're not bragging about this, but we, can, we cannot find a lot of churches that are really strict, yes. that are really solid, let's just I say. Agree. Let, I let's, agree. Let's just say it's solid and that's really, uh, uh, you know, keeping the standards and the principles of God's Word. You see, the reason why we have that is because of the reason uh, that God will, you know, God will not allow Satan to take you from the primary position. You know what? You got to you got to realize what the primary position is. Yeah, that's it. That's the it. The primary position is, hey, listen, uh, uh, God's word comes first. Yes, sir. That's it. The God primary comes position first. Position is, you know what? My my mom and dad, they're the authority in my life. Yeah, that's uh, it. My, my pastor is the authority in my life. That's right. You know, the primary position is is I'm faithful to church. That's it. The primary position is is I'm in Bible college. Going forward for the Lord. Yeah. And the secondary position, listen, means means this. I come first. That's it. That's not it. God. Yeah. That's it. That's right. What I want comes first. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly. the secondary position. Yeah. All right. So that's what I believe Pastor Gill's talking about. And yeah. it's absolutely true. If you get sidetracked, if you don't have your eyes on God and you have your eyes on yourself and what you want, who comes first? Yeah. You do. Yeah. And that's not good. That's right. That's not that's good. right. Amen. You know, I want to tell you young people something. Listen to me real fast, okay? You have a pastor. If you're watching, I hope you have a pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? If you don't have a pastor, you need to be in church serving God underneath the man of God. Now, what is a pastor? A pastor, the Bible tells us, is an under shepherd. What does a shepherd do? A shepherd protects the yeah, flock. That's right. It guides the flock. Too many young people today are, are afraid to listen to their pastor. Because, like Pastor Gill just said, the primary position you're not in. You're in the secondary position. You don't want to hear what your pastor has to say because it may go against what you want. Okay? Now, listen, you have a great pastor, the young people sitting right here. When you're in church and he's preaching, when he's teaching in your college classes uh, or, or even in your school classes, it's so important. Yeah. To t you, listening is not the same thing as doing. The Bible says d don't be a, a hearer only, yeah. but a doer, doer of the word. That's right. Okay? When you have a great pastor to help guide you, to help, to help give you wisdom, to counsel you, uh, and he loves you. That's right. He loves you. You know, being a pastor is hard. Yep. It's a hard thing to do. It's not, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, I know Pastor Gill. That's a, that is a brilliant man. That is a brilliant Amen. man. Amen. Amen. Pastor Gill could probably be a multi-millionaire because he's so smart. Amen. Amen. But he's not because he loves you. Yeah. Amen. He chose you over that. Yeah. Amen. You know, if, listen, me, I'm 32 years old. Amen. I'm 32 years old. I have a wife. I have four children. But I still, before I make a decision, before I make, make a big choice in my life, you know who I go talk to? I go talk to my pastor. Amen. Amen. I go talk with my pastor. I, I want to know what he thinks. I want his wisdom. I want his guidance. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You have a great pastor. Amen. Your pastor will help keep your eyes where they need to be. Yeah. If you... If you don't trust the Lord, though, you'll never trust your pastor. Yeah. Hey, Amen. What do you think? Yeah, yes, sir. You know, that's right. you're right about that. Because, again, sadly, sadly, and uh, even though we do not want this to happen, but we're blessed with the man of God that we have. Yes. It's because there's a lot of pastors as well that are, I'm not trying to attack them, but this is the truth. No, just speak it, brother. There are a lot of pastors that are also sidetracked today. Yes. That's why they're leaving their primary position uh -huh. and going to the secondary position. Come on. 
Primary is for the Lord. Secondary is for the world. It's for themselves. That's yes. it. That's why Pastor Hill mentioned here, seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's the primary position. Ah, yes. And all these things shall be added. That's the secondary position. Yes. You, you, you see, oh, that's uh, good. Yeah, Pastor yeah, good. Yeah, yes, sir. You know, that's, the, that's, the, that's why it's very important for you young people to pay attention on your position right now. Yes. Pay attention to your position or on your position right now. What, the reason why you are here, it's a blessing that you have to see this. The reason why you are here because you choose to be on your primary position. Oh, man. Let me ask there, you. Let me, go let ahead. Me, go let ahead, me, sir. Let me ask you young people this right now. All right, listen. Okay, so listen. I'm going to help. Listen. What position are you in? I want you to think to yourself. Yeah, that's right. I want right. you to think about That's good. Yourself. Amen. So right now, to yourself. Yeah. I want you to think about what position are you in right now? Are you in the primary position? Or are you in the secondary That's position? right. Now, listen, the way you can answer that question is what Pastor Gill just said. That's right. The primary position is seek, seek you first. first the kingdom of God. So let me ask you this. What are you seeking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's what good. Are what are you seeking? That's good. Is, is, is God the apple of your eye? Uh-huh. Come are, on. Are you, what, are, what are you seeking? That's because right. Because listen, sometimes we give you things and, and maybe you wonder, am I, am I not? No, I'm telling you, the way you know where you're at is what are you seeking? Amen. Just because you're in Bible college doesn't mean you're seeking first the kingdom of God. That's right. Uh, you can go through the motions and fool everybody. Yeah. All right? But you can't fool God and you're not fooling the devil. Amen. So ask yourself, what position are you in? Yeah. What position are you in? Are you in the primary position or are you in the secondary position? That's right. Now, if you're seeking the things of the world, if you're seeking to be like America, you're in the secondary position. Yeah. You shouldn't be trying to be like America. You should be trying to be like Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. That's, that's it. it. Honestly, if you're seeking to, to, to find a, a husband or a wife, if that's the first thing in your life, you're in the secondary position. Yeah. Amen. That's if you're right. seeking to have the nice things and the, the cool gadgets yeah. and, the, and the money, you can't serve God and mammon. Yeah. That's and right. You can't serve too much. That's right. That's right. Amen. You see, yeah, that's why it's very, it's very important to know their position. Because not until you know you're honest with your position right now, young people, that will help you not yes. to be sidetracked. Yes. You see, because most of the time, the secondary position is the reason of being sidetracked. Yes. There's none other else. Yes. No, <laughs> the Word of God is not a dis distraction. It's not a distraction. No. No. You know, it's not as, it's the primary thing. Yes. You say, seek ye the Lord first. Seek ye first God. Yes. Seek God first. Yes. You know, why, why do you have to, the reason why they're, they're uh, young people today are being sidetracked, because they're not seeking God first. Yes. That's it. That's how, that's how simple it is. It's, it's not hard for you to understand young people that you yes. have to seek God first. I love the promise. Yeah. I love what God promised those yeah. who seek him first. Yeah, that's All right. All those things, listen, that, that the, the, the wife. The husband, the, the, the money, the future, the, the things. Listen, he said, if you seek me first, yes, sir. all these things will be added unto yes, you. Yes, sir. If, that's what, if you put me first, that's the key to getting the other things. Yes, sir. Now, I'm telling you, if you want to flop it around and you want to seek him second in those other things first, he's not going to give them to you. No. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the Bible. That's, that's right. a promise. You see, Amen. That's right. You know, too many young people, here's what they want. Here's God. Here, here's them. So like this. Here's you. Here's God. And here's the things you want. That's right. Too many young people try to go around God. Yeah. To get what they want. Yep. The thing is, is they get sidetracked and they never get there. That's right. That's right. The only way to get there is to go through God first. Seek ye first. Amen. Go through God first. Yeah. Amen. And he's, he's the key to the other thing. Yes, sir. That's right. Amen. That's the Bible. Yeah. And actually, for the young people to know this. So it, this is a big help for you young people. Pay attention to this. If you want to know if you're still in your primary position, you check yourself if you are already after the things that just that will just be added unto you. Yeah. If you're after those things that they're supposed to be added unto you. Added. Added. 
added. added. That means you're adding to something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're if you are paying attention there, then you're not already in your primary no, position. No, no, if no. you're after what's supposed to be God is adding to you, that you're not after, you're not already in your primary position. That's right. Because it's very clear, just like what Pastor Hill said, the primary position is to seek God first. That's right. But the reason, young people, again, the truth is, you are now more after. Teenagers, Steve Fogos, listen to this. You are more after the things of this world. Mm. And the things of this world can just be a bonus from God. You see, like, if God is using you, let let me just, uh, this is just for the sake of illustration, sir. You know, like what I have right now in front of me. The reason why me and my brother get these things, Mm. not for the secondary position. Right. Right. It is for the primary position because yes. I'm not planning to get this actually. No, and but it it's just that my brother wants you know you know he he wants to have uh, an iPad. You know I need <laughs> the ba- I need I need someone to back me up to get an I said that that will get me an iPad. You know yeah. uh, maybe you're planning to get yours too. You yeah, know yeah. <laughs> 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 you know so, yeah. so 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 you know yes. you know you th- these these things you know. This is just a bonus from God. Because the reason, I believe the reason why he allowed me to have this, because he knows my purpose for this. Yep. You see, yep. I do not allow this to sidetrack me. No. But no. God knows that in my primary position, I can serve him more and yes. I can do more. Yes. That's why Absolutely. he added more. Absolutely. That's right. You know, the, yes. the, 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 the difference now for the young people they focus on this first. Mm. Lord, give me this and I will serve. No, serve first. And he will let you know if you need this. You know, that's the thing. You understand? That's why they yes. get sidetracked. Yes. Do you, do, you, do you understand? Listen. Things do not matter. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You know, you watch America because of all the things they have. Yeah, that's right. That's true. That's exactly why right. You desire the West's ways because oh, they have nice gadgets, nice phones, nice houses, nice fashion, cars, fashion. Hey, it all rusts and moths away. Yeah. You know what happens? You want one of these right here, an iPad, and you're so happy when you get it, and you feel so special, and it makes you happy, right? Yeah. And you've had it for maybe three months, and they come out with a new one. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We, we and, talked we said that what? before. You're not happy with yours anymore. Yeah. Because this one, doesn't, they thought that this one doesn't, doesn't have an update. Uh. This ha- doesn't have any other applications. Uh. <laughs> you see? Yes. But, the, but what the young people is not seeing right now, because seeing today, this book right here, it needs not to be updated because it's always updated. Never. Never, amen. Never. <laughs> it never. is never that's outdated. The of, that's the bread of life. Yeah, that's it. Hey, you want to have a good? You want to have a good life? You better eat right. Yeah, that's it. You want to be healthy? You better eat right. That's right. S- physically and spiritually. Yes, sir. So, what are you feeding yourselves? That's right. Are you feeding yourselves a bunch of, bunch of junk on social media and a, and a bunch yeah. of junk on the internet? That's right. And, and are, is that what you're feeding yourselves? Or are you feeding yourselves the bread of life? Yeah. You want it. a good life, young people? You're going to find it right That's here. right. Pastor Hill said to avoid being sidetracked is to stay in the right track. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's it. We'll, we'll, we'll try. To, we're going to end it in this, uh, this uh, uh, yes. comment of our great, pastor. Great point. Great point. Just to avoid being sidetracked, young people, is to stay in the right track. It is to stay in the right track. Yes, sir. That's is. why you will be able to stay in the right track if you remain on your primary position. Because your primary position is the way yes. to your is is your right track. It will lead you to yeah. your right track. Jesus Christ said, I am the, the way. The way. <laughs> The, the, way. <laughs> the way. The way. The way. Yeah. The way. So is what track? What what's the right track? Okay, what's the right track? All right, so the right track is this, okay? The right track is, like I said, you're, I, I'm going to sound like a broken record tonight, okay? The right track is this. Listen, honor thy father and thy mother. Yeah, that's it. Amen. The right, listen, the right track is respect authority because God has placed you in a, at, at a point in your life right now that you're under authority. So respect it and obey it. That's the right track. The right track is to be faithful to the word of God. To be faithful 
to reading your Bible every day, to be faithful to being a soul winner, to be faithful to going to church, to be, listen, this is the right track, uh, to be faithful to, to listening to your pastor. You know, I love your pastor. You, you understand that he's not here physically, but he's still here. Yeah. He's sitting here making all these comments. and Why? Because he cares about you. That's right. The right, That's the right. right track is yeah. to honor that and respect that and obey that. And when he yeah. speaks, listen to him. That's the right track. Yeah. That's the right track. Young people, you don't know how to get anywhere in life. I love you, but you don't. You don't know how to get there. Yeah. So listen to your parents. Listen to these men right here that God has used, amen, to, to help guide you. Listen to your pastor. Amen. amen. These are, uh, have you ever, have you ever went, who's went bowling? Who's ever went bowling? Uh, you know what bowling I, is? We know bowling, but I've never, I never no? tried. No? Yeah, I never tried. You ever drove? You, you, ever, you ever tried? You ever drove? Be because, uh, hey. maybe you tried. Because, uh, okay, because, so what about this? Have you ever, have you ever, who's ever done uh, go-karts? Go karts, yeah, go -karts. yeah, I did. I Who's did. ever done go karts? Okay, so in go karts, there's a track. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. That's there's right. a track. That's right. All right, and you're driving your go kart all around the track, though. You know they have these big barriers. Yeah. To yeah. where if you start to go off track, they bump you back on the track. That's right. So you don't fly off the track and that's and, it. And that's kill it. Yourself. Amen. Yeah. That's right. good. That's good. That's good. Right. You know who those bumpers are? These guys. These guys right here, your pastor, your parents, going, no, 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 get oh, over there. Let, let me make that clear. Go Bumper, ahead. not bouncers. Huh? Bumper. <laughs> Did I say bouncer? Yeah. <laughs> no, bouncer, no, no, no. But hey, but seriously, it bumps you. Yeah. Yeah. It bounces. It, 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 it will bounce, bounce you back. back over into the right yeah. and onto the track. You know, that 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 is what your pastor is. That's what your parents are. That's amen, what these amen, men are. amen. Amen. So don't fight it. And I tell you what, you'll learn to stay in the track. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's right. And y y you know what? So that's uh, that's the blessing of being or having this kind of program. It's, it, it seems like my mic went down. All right, it's, it's good, sir. Uh, and like I said, the reason why you know why they're they're the problem. It's a good thing that we have that. You know, it's yes, a great blessing that yes. w we have this kind of program. So it will not. You, you're right about that. Sometimes you know what you're not seeing, young people, is that the Satan doesn't want you to be just to, to be sidetracked. But he really wanted you to be to fly out of to the track. To fly out to of the track. To fly out. It means yes. to really, he really wanted you to be to mess up, you yes. know, yes. badly. Yes. That's a problem. That's why a lot of young yes. people he wants they you to start ruin your life. That's, they started to be in this church. I've been in the, I've been a junior church uh, pastor for how many years? They are with me. They're they're joining the ministry. They even fight for their moms mm. <laughs> just to be in the ministry, <laughs> it, you know. But now. When when I were here, the uh, the young people, with the teen yeah, focus, yeah, with the teenagers, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not seeing them anymore. No, they got distracted. Now Satan has taken them completely. And off they're track. really flied out. Yes. They're really messed yes. up, yes. but badly. Yes. We're telling you not to be distracted because Satan doesn't want you distracted. He yeah. wants you off track. And if he can get you distracted, then he can get you off track. And then once he gets you off track, he can make you crash. Yeah. And that's what he wants. Yeah, Pastor Hill said the right, the steps, he mentioned what the Bible says in the book of Psalms. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Mm. Keep tracking his steps. Mm. You see, keep tracking the Lord's steps. Because when he orders your steps, that's his steps. Yes. yes. You see? Yes, sir. It's, it's a great blessing. Can I say one more thing before go we go? Go ahead, done? sir. Go ahead. Okay, listen. I like what Pastor Gill just said. You, all right. Follow Jesus Christ, right? Follow his footsteps. Now listen, and I, and, and I know we got to be done. Jesus Christ said, follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Okay? Follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Do you know why the devil wants you off track? More than anything. I said it right when I opened up. Because you young people, the, what you could do for God in this world is unmatched. The amount of souls you could reach yeah. is unmatched. That's right. The amount of people you could see saved is unmatched. The amount of people you could see coming to church is unmatched. Yeah. It's unmatched. That's why Satan's after the young people so much. Because if you just decide to follow Jesus Christ and allow him to make you a fisher of men, all right, I believe the young people could change the world. Yeah. I believe the young people could bring revival to the whole world. 
if they'd keep their eyes on God. That's what I'm telling you. Listen, you're so, you're, you're so precious to me because I know how valuable you are for God. And I know your potential and what you can do for Jesus Christ. That's why the devil wants you off track. Yeah, that's right. That's not just to hurt you, but it's to damage what you could do for Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. That's right. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, it's really, it's really very important for these young people to, to hear that from you, sir. That's why you always put that in mind, what Brother Blake here uh, told you and uh, gives the, the encouragement to you. And this is very important because what <laughs> this is, I believe you will agree with me with this. What's happening to your young people there, can, like I said, it will always happen here. Yeah. The, the, the distractions of, for them to be sidetracked there is the same thing that will happen here. They don't need to go there. It's already here. Oh, yeah. But the blessing is that what they're having here, not to be sidetracked yeah. by the world, is what they don't have there. You, know, you, want, you want to be like teenagers in America? I got a phone call f from a man that works at a morgue a week before I came uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. A morgue is where they bring dead bodies. Oh, yeah. I think I've heard you mention that. Yeah, you listen wanna, to you, this. You want to be like the kids in America. Okay, a man called my church that is the mortician. He's a head of the morgue. That's yeah. where they bring dead bodies. Twenty-five teenagers a week in my city are killing themselves. Yeah, let, let me let me try to translate it so that they so tell them. Yeah, you, you know, I'm seeing a sabiyan story. I don't I don't remember if you can mention if you can remember that. Na sabi niya na ito sa atin. Pero dun sa kanya may nag nagtawag naghihingi ng tulong na sa kanya sa lugar nila ng hingi na ng tulong kasi 25, 25? 25 a week. A week. 25 young people a week ang nagpapakamatay sa kanila. You see that? What's the main reason? What's the main reason? The main reason. Tell they're, them. They're off track. <laughs> That's it. Their main reason is where their eyes are pointed. Amen. Yeah. That's why they're doing that. Yeah. Remember, God, he doesn't want you sidetracked. He wants you off track yeah. so he can destroy your life. But yeah. it starts with where your eyes are. They want the world. They want the music. They, listen, listen to me. They want the partying. They want the way they dress. Then it, listen, it's a progression. Oh, I want to dress that way. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, like, I, I, I want to party like that. Yeah. Oh, I it. want the money like that. Oh, guess what? Now you're doing drugs. <laughs> and guess what? When you do drugs, you end up being depressed. And it starts to destroy your life. And then you know what? Then you're like, look, I've ruined my life. And yeah. I'm a young person. I ruined it. So they kill themselves. Wow. Because of where their eyes first went. You see, you see that? Don't want what yeah. America has. Wow. That's what's happening in my country. <laughs> you see that? You're hearing it from Brother Blake. You're hearing it from them. Naririnig nyo na, mga kapatid. Sabi ko sa inyo, don't desire. Huwag nyo lang nasahin. Huwag nyo lang naisin. May experience nyo kung anong meron sa kanila. You see, Seek ye first. Don't try. Don't Seek ye first. The and like what I'm saying a while ago, you're you're very blessed. You know, we are yes. very blessed. It's it's really by the grace of God. It's really up because of God's mercy. You mga tinatanggap nyo dito, kala nyo, <laughs> minsan, you're, you're used to what's happening in our church. But what you didn't know, yan yung tumutulong sa inyo not to be sidetracked. That helps you not to be sidetracked and to keep you in track. At hindi nyo napapansin. Wala pa kasi kayo sa ganung posisyon pero because na hold kayo ng church. But you know, pagka hindi pag binali wala niyo yan, young people, ha, baka hindi niyo alam pero pwedeng mangyari sa inyo na magpakamatay din kayo. Amen. You might end up taking your life as well if you're going to take yep. for granted what God has been giving you. Yep. You see, and oh, you yes. know, honestly, sir, it's really a great blessing. Like I said, it's a it's it's because of God's grace and it's because of God's mercy and we are so blessed that you know, young people, pinagpala kayo ng lubos the what we have here. Yung meron tayo dito, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, hindi lahat niya ng simba, not all churches in America have what we have here. No. I'm not trying to attack them, but, but no, you know the reality. I'm bringing my brother to come to Bible college here. You see, kaya nga dinala niya. That's the reason why he bring a, a, a brother Spencer baby. here. You see, he bring his baby brother here. Baby brother. Uh, you said that? That's my uh, baby brother. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's my right. youngest brother. <laughs> yeah. Baby brother. A 6'2 baby. 6'2 baby. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you know, akalain nyo yan, dinala nyo pa dito. Ha? Yeah? Naintindihan nyo ba? You see, dinala nyo pa dito para lang dito mag-aaral. You see, because alam niya na dun sa kanila, malaki ang, po, malaki ang uh, posibilidad na mas sidetrack siya dun. 
Tapos kayo, binabaliwala nyo kung anong meron yeah. kayo dito spiritually. Ama. Gisingin nyo sarili nyo ngayon, young people. Kayong mga nasa Google Meet, kayong mga nasa Facebook Live, you wake yourselves up. Kung anong meron kayo dito, yung meron sila doon, kaya nyo ma-adapt dito eh. Ganyan ang ano eh, kultura natin Pilipino, young people. Kaya natin gayahin kung anong meron sila. Mm. Pero yung meron kayo ngayon, spiritually, what you have right now, spiritually, hindi nyo makikita yan sa Amerika. Yeah. You will never find it there. Seldom. You can find Few. You yes. can find. Because, you know, I know the stories. A lot of Baptist churches there as well are already out of this, out of track. You see? Some of them nakakapunta pa dito sa atin. Pero wala na rin sila. Wala. They're, they're out of track. You know, it's sad. I have, I, I have pastor uh, friends that are pastors. You know, they're pastor's kids. You know, before... You know, I'm trying to always communicate with them when we were there. But man, I'm seeing their their social media. You know what's happening, man. I'm telling you, it's not what I want. It's not. You no. know, no. I don't like that. And I can. You know, I'm. I I don't. I I wasn't trained by my dad to see the ministry that way. Amen. You see, and that's not my prime. They're not already in their primary position. They're right. pastors, kids. Yeah, yes, they're, they're not already in their primary position. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. No, I'm not. Yes. No, I'm not. But I'm mean. blessed by the grace of God that I'm, I'm, the church is holding me up to be in the primary position. Amen. Sabi nga namin sa inyo, young people, hindi automatic yan. Hindi porket na didito na tayo ngayon. Didito kami tatlo, automatic na hindi kami. No, masa sidetrack tayo lahat. Yes, sir. Itong That's programa right. lang na ito nag-hold sa Amen. atin. Amen. Young people, ito yung nag-hold sa inyo. Kaya pag binali, wala nyo ito. I'm telling you, hindi nyo na magiging host si Sir Roy. Sa team preparation. By the way, Sir Roy is here with us, host of the preparation program. Hindi nyo na siya magiging host. Bakit? Malilipat na kayo kagad sa may isawa eh. Hmm. Bakit hindi na kayo nadaanan the preparation? Because on your team focus, you didn't stay alive. Yeah. The reason for you not to stay alive as a Christian young people, if you get sidetracked by the world, you will never stay alive. Amen. The devil wants you dead spiritually. Amen. Yeah. He and, wants and you dead. physically. Physically. Both. Yeah. That's the worst part. Yes. You see? Is it kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, young people, do not take this for granted. This is a serious matter. Your life, God is not, God is taking your life seriously. Amen. He gave himself for you. Lagi namin sinasabi yan. This is not a joke. Sabi, uh, I've been telling these young people, do not try to play your Christianity because Christ doesn't play you. Yeah. See, he's not trying to play your life. He's not. He's not just using you just to say that uh, you know I'm going to use you for this. Oh, no, yeah. no. Oh yeah. Sabi sabi mo sa inyo hindi kayo nilalaro ng Panginoon. Amen. Hindi kayo. God doesn't treat you like a toy. Amen. Amen. That's why do not play your life. Amen, brother. You see, that's the saddest part right now. In uh, in our in our times today, a lot of young people, Christian young people today, you know, they're being they're really sidetracked by world's Christianity. Oh. That's the world's Christianity. That's an oxymoron. Yeah, yeah. The world doesn't have Christianity. Yeah. But, but you know, they're trying. But, but they can deceive you in that Yeah, they do. That's, their, that's their deception. There again, you need the wisdom of your pastor. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something, and then I know that we're probably done. Jesus Christ loves you. That's right. He loves you as the individual, not as the group. He knows the very amount of hairs on your head. He knows what makes you happy. He knows what makes you scared. He knows what kind of food you like. He knows what's your favorite color. Jesus Christ loves you, all right? Everything you, sh if you never want to get sidetracked, ever, yeah, decide that y you will always love That's Jesus right. Christ. That's right. Amen. That's right. Always. The Bible says where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. Yeah. So if your treasure is on the things of this world and not on Jesus Christ. That's right. You're going to be sidetracked. Amen. If you want the nice houses and the nice uh -huh. clothes and the nice phones and the gadgets and the cars, and that's where your heart is. Jesus doesn't have it. Yeah. Jesus doesn't have it. And that's where you get sidetracked. That's right. Listen, every... Look, do you love Jesus? Do you love him? Because if you love him, you know, I love my wife. I love my wife. Amen. You know, I'd rather look at nobody in the world than her. I, I, I can't wait to go home and just see her with my own eyes. Yeah, amen. Because I love her. 
if you love the Lord, you don't want to look anywhere else. You don't want to look into the world. You don't, I mean, you just want to look at him the entire time. And if you're in love with him, you'll never become sidetracked. Never. If you're truly in love with him and, he, and, and it consumes you because you love him so much, you'll never become sidetracked, ever. You know, church, your, your spiritual life, your Christianity is much more than just, well, I've got to go to church and i got to walk right and i got to talk right. Yes, you should. But it means nothing if you're not doing it because you love him. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Jesus loves you. If you don't want to get sidetracked, fall in love with Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. You, you want to share something, Brother Spencer? No, I'm, I should be down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, but, but, but we have a question for you. Yo, yo, let me ask you <laughs> this question. It. Go for uh, it. During, during, I want to know if during your high school years. Yeah, I really want to know too. I really you really have stories that you've <laughs> yeah. been sidetracked. Has there ever been a moment where I've been yeah. sidetracked? Yeah. Do you want I to tell me about about this, tell them <laughs> yeah, about yeah, the yeah, story? Come on, or come on, let's say it. Where I've been sidetracked? Yeah. Is there a moment in your life when you. Yeah, I felt like I had, but I, I don't know. If you if you haven't been sidetracked, what are some things in your that, life yeah, you, you think that, that has helped you stay on track? Yeah, that's it. Just the guidance from my pastor and from my brother. Amen. And just seeking the Lord in prayer and what should I do? And it, my pastor and my brother and my parents, and parents too. Amen. And Put it up here. They tell you to, one of the things that I really remember is get a good group of friends. That's it. Because Amen. If you don't have the right group of friends, they can lead you astray. <laughs> oh, say, it, say it again. Say it again. Uh, a bad group of friends can lead you astray in an instant. Yeah. So. Say it in Tagalog. <laughs> uh, you, you know, what, uh, what he's trying to say is, oh, I'm sa saying it in Tagalog, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Manny, come Pri on. Primo English. No, what he's saying here, the young people, the most important thing to him with his children is to have a good set of friends. Yeah. You see? I, I, I alam ko nakuha niyo yun, pero yan yung isa sa mga bagay na talagang, you know, magpapaalis sa inyo sa right track niyo. One of the things that will give them, will put them to uh, out of their track is a bad set of friends. So fast. Very fast. That's the biggest thing I've ever told him. <laughs> yeah. If I catch him with somebody I don't like, yeah. they're not his friend anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. That's good. That's oh, yeah. good. Amen. You see, and, and he's humble enough to say, yes, sir. That's, that's right. what helped keep him on track. Yeah. Go ahead. You that's go. right. You, see, you, hear, you heard that, young people. Akalain nyo, ganun ang ginagawa sa kanya ng kuya niya. The same thing kung anong ginagawa sa inyo. Kaya, ako yung nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Ha? Naalala mo, ha? sabi ko, pag sinabi kong wag, wag, titahain kita. Wag. Ah, ha? Ah, and exactly, oh, brought Sir Roy here. Brought, Sir oh, Roy yeah. here is my witness. He he uh, he he. So they are the ones that the uh, the preachers here. The way we are, we are I, I'm just in my high school days. You know, he's my trainer. You know everything. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I I learn a lot from him. Me you too. Know, that's that's true. And uh, you know the reason why I'm saying this is because alam ni Sir Roy yan. Sila yung hindi na kayo na ngayon nakakarana sa mga tipo na pag alam na hindi kayo nakikinig. Tingin lang. Tingin lang. Tingin lang. Tingin lang kayo. Hindi na kayo nakakarana sa mga. Pag nakakita kayo ng ganyan umayos na kayo. Hindi na kayo nakakaranas niyan ngayon. And exactly what I'm trying to bring back to you. Yeah. Because that keep us, keep me personally on track. Wala, na out of track nga lang yung isa na talagang nani, <laughs> kasamaan ni si Roy na talagang so kumain ka ng candy sa loob ng simbahan, talaga namang machuchok ka. <laughs> Bakit? Eh talaga namang may piga yun. Hindi nyo na nararanasan yun. You see na, may siko yun. Hindi nyo na nararanasan yun. Kaya nga, si Sir Jingoy, kung narinig nyo yung story ni Sir Jingoy, pinasusukan niya yung sarili niya, maalis lang siya sa, sa tabi nila Sir Roy. Ganon dati, tinutulungan nila Sir Roy ng mga ibang kalalakihan dito para manatili kami on track. Man. Man. You see that? Bagamat it's really sad that some of them are not here. Ilan na lang sila Sir Roy ngayon. But we are here trying to translate that to you. Man. Sa panahon niya yun, dinadalik namin sa inyo yun. Kaya minsan tinatago niyo sa amin kasi alam niyo na alam niyo kung saan namin kayong pilipihit. You see that young people, alam namin yan. Di ba? Kaya minsan, like, it's, like, it's like playing basketball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of these young people are playing with me basketball. I've been trying to, I've been trying to bring them back to the 
real basketball. Yes. You see, oh. to the real basketball, you, you have to expect uh, physicality. Oh, yeah. You have to expect those things, you see. Yes. But you know, right now, <laughs> this is a foul. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's how they live. That's how they play ball today. You see, that's why that, that, that's why I'm telling you, I'm telling you, sir, I'm trying to bring them back on the right track. Yes. Yeah. You may not want the pa- the the process. Hindi nyo man nagugustuhan kasi minsan masakit, nakakaaray, pero sinasabi ko nga sa inyo, young people, tanggapin nyo, like what Brother Spencer did when uh, Brother Blake here is telling him that's not your friends anymore. Amen. Amen. He's practicing humility. You see, gawin nyo yung ginawa niya, magpasakop kayo, sumunod kayo, and I'm telling you, you will stay on the right track. Amen. You will Amen. Let, it will help you avoid side traction of the devil. Amen. All right. Amen. So what? Uh, Jenwuna nani? You you want to add something? Kinanong mo ako, ah. Maybe maybe brother. Uh, yeah. may, may you know, Pastor Blake and uh, uh, Sir Spencer. Today, sa lahat ng mga young people, seryoso to. If you are listening carefully, one thing that I love about our topic, the one that you said earlier about the saying in uh, in America, uh, the, uh, cat. the curiosity kills, kills the, the cat. cat. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's the problem here of the young people. That's a lot. A lot of young people are having hard time understanding that kind of saying because they know that they can be sidetracked they know what is distraction the, the one that is distracting them they know it That's right. they know the fashion they know the trends are tho- those things are distractions in their life but the one thing that kills them is their curiosity to even try that too they yes. they, j- they just want they know that is distraction but they want to try it because they're curious about it. Yeah. You got to watch right. where you put your eyes. Yes, you sir. Never, if you never see it, you're never curious. Yeah. And uh, kaya yun, sinasabi ko sa inyo, young people, that's, that's very true sa buhay natin. Ilan sa atin na napahamak, alam nyo namang mali, pero sinubukan nyo pang gawin. That's the Tagalog of ng, ano, ng saying na yun eh. Alam nyo namang mali. Alam nyo hindi yung tama, pero dahil curious kayo, sinubukan nyo. Yeah. yeah. Sinubukan nyo. Yeah. That's why this verse is very true. Let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Uh, kaya yan, isa yun sa mga kanina ko pa pinapakinggan yan kanina ko pa minimeditate yung, yung phrase na yun. Marami silang sinabi na maganda pero that, 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 that saying, yung, yung kasabihan na yun, young people talagang yun yung tumatak sa akin ngayong gabi. Totoo yun eh. Even me, napahamak na pagdating sa ganyan eh. Yeah. Diba? Ang pumapatay sa atin, alam na natin, lalo na, Lalo na sa atin dito, tayo mga nasa, nandito ngayon sa church. Uh, kayo team focus, kayo nakakapakinig ngayon to. Alam nyo na kung ano yung mga distractions. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, you, you, they already know what distraction is. Yeah. Those things na this world is trying to give to you, young people. Alam nyo kung ano yun. Isa lang ang tawag doon, distraction. Alam nyo yun. Pero ang pumapatay sa atin, bakit nawawala tayo sa track? Kagaya nung sinasabi ng ating mga pastor and the one that Pastor Blake is always telling us kanina, curious kasi kayo. Ang problema, the problem is, you have your pastor, you have your leaders that is already telling you that is a distraction but still you didn't obey them and you choose to do those things that can uh, sidetrack your life because you're just curious. You're, you're, That's you're, how simple hey, it is. Listen, you, you, it's because, listen, you're curious your pastor, these mm. men, they tell you what's going to happen, but mm. you don't listen. It's because you're prideful. Mm. Yeah. And pride cometh before destruction. 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 Yeah. All right? You want to be prideful and you want to think you know better, you'll be destroyed. Yeah. And it's oh. a hard, it's a, it's a sad thing trying to put a young person's life back together because it's barely started. All right. So, Tommy, you want to add something? Sir, yeah. I have J- a, I just have say a, something. I have a, a, a no, something. A, a, say a something. Answer for his question <laughs> earlier. Go sir. ahead. Uh, you, you, qu- you asked the young people earlier, what are you seeking? Yes. B- you know what, sir? Many peop- many young people today are seeking what Sir Joe was saying earlier, life and a life and death situation. Uh. That's why young people today just they just go try try new things. The, the church is just there. It won't live in, it, it won't go anywhere. That's their mindset. That's why they choose to do what they see on social media. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's why right. They, they choose to do what they see in social media. They mm. focus on the things that they think that this church is just there. It won't go anywhere. It's yeah. fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's fake. fake. They, li- uh, it's they like the lifestyle, life. sir. They like the lifestyle. 
Yeah. Even the lifestyle. Yeah. What you see on social media. Not all the of them. Smiles all of the, yeah. And the selfies yeah. and the big. It's fake. Yeah. yeah. If it, they're so happy in America, why are they killing themselves 25 every every week? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah. It's right. fake. Don't let the devil lie to you. Mm. I mean, yeah. the, the Bible tells you, be sober, be vigilant. Why? Because the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking. He's seeking. You understand that? The devil's seeking. He's seeking you to devour you. What are you seeking? Yeah. Yeah, amen. Because he sets traps. Amen. Come on. That's why. I'm, I, that's, Come on. That's, right. that's what I'm trying to tell my uh, my members in my group. Be uh, be thankful, because that's what uh, Sir Joe said earlier. Many many young people today they say no, that's not true. What you're saying is not true. It's not happening here in the Philippines. The reason why you're not you're you're not seeing it, it's because you're here in this church. That's you're you're yes. still in the right track. Yes. That's why I, I'm so thankful for this topic because we you can see the importance of what we are talking about yes. here in this church. Yeah, uh, you, you are protected, young people. Yeah. In focus, you are protected. That's why you don't see what yeah. Pastor is saying. Twenty five. Oh man, you're protected. Twenty five a week. Your 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 life is beautiful. I love what he just said. Listen, be thankful. Man. When you're thankful, you're content. And when you're content, you're not seeking the things of the world. Amen, sir. But if you're not thankful here, then you will not be content here. Amen. And if you're not content here, you're going to get sidetracked. Amen. And if you get sidetracked, you're going to go off track. Yes, sir. So it, st it starts with that. I like that. It yeah. starts with being Actually, thankful. Actually, sir, we have a member in our group. He's on and off in our group. Sometimes he's, he's on fire. Sometimes he's, he's, not, he's not existent. Why? Why? Because... You know, he wants to test things. I'm, I'm not saying, I, I just saw his name, the yeah. comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thank God, I still see him in our church. Amen. But you know, young people, you should be careful with what you try on, with, with, with what you try on your life. Yes, you can't take it back once you do it. Uh, I, I always tell them, choose, choose who you're going to go uh, with uh, friends with. That's why I'm thankful for Sir John, Sir Maki. Yeah, because they're, they're there to teach me. Amen. Every time I get sidetracked, they're there to teach me what to do. Yeah, we will Bonkers. talk later. Hey, you <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> hey, I, I, I agree. 100, 100%. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, whoever's in this man's group, this is a good man. Be thankful. Like he just said, be thankful. Amen. Be thankful you have a man that cares about you. That doesn't, that doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. You guys be thankful for that. Don't always get mad because they're telling you. Thank God they're telling you. They're telling you so you'd learn through being told and not through having to go through it. Amen. 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 Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's I, right. I remembered, sir. Just uh, Sir Joe ma mentioned it earlier. Uh, yes, last yeah. Last one. Sorry, sir. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what, what, sir? Pa Pastor Blake said it. He said. Uh, uh, young people had it easy today because oh yeah. we have a pattern. Yeah. We have a pattern. That's why we, it, yeah, we say it's hard. It's hard to live our lives because we're not following our pattern here. For example, yes. Sergio, we have our pattern here. Pastor Hill, we have our pattern. That's why we, we, that's why we say it's hard to live. Yeah, I got you. That's why it's hard to live. The reason why we say those words, young people, is that we're not following the, the, the pattern our leaders set for us. For mm. example, our parents, just like Sir mm. uh, Pastor Blake said earlier. That's Amen. Awesome. Thank you. I Thank agree. You. Hey, Thank God you, bless you, brother. Amen. Amen. It's Amen. all the Bible. That's why it's good. Amen. That's why. Amen. That's why young people always put this in mind. Your eyes. And like, uh, let, let, let me let just emphasize that for tonight. The best and one of the things that we started having uh, this conversation is because of that curiosity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that. You know, the re one of the things, if you, if you're going to let your eyes uh, pay attention to the things that you're not supposed to pay attention. You'll be sidetracked. Don't let don't let your curiosity be used by saying rather rather than being curious in the world, try on being more curious with what's with with the word. Oh man! All right. Yes. Have you ever tried to be curious what's in the book of Hosea? Oh yeah. Have Come you ever on. tried to be curious what's in the book of Ezekiel? What's in the book of this? No. 
Have you ever been curious of God's power? Yeah. What he could do to you? Man, what he could do with you? <laughs> yeah. Is that, I mean, be curious about those things. Yeah, man. that's when right. I, when I hear stories of God and the Bible and then, or testimonies of, I'm like, man, I, I, want, I want that kind of power on my life. Yeah. Man. I want God to, I, I wonder if God can use me like that. Those yeah. things be curious of. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Be curious of those things. Amen. All right. So we will end our episode tonight with a really uh, uh, full packed Amen. truth of truth. All Amen. right. Amen. So we're going to end our episode tonight with great blessings from God. And I believe, young people, that you have been blessed. You know, even though we we are not used on or you are not used on listening to uh, 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 to our programs on this uh, with this kind of uh, you know English conversations. Oh yeah. Yeah. Even though, but again, let me remind you this, young people. It's not the language barrier. Mm. Yeah. That's the reason. Listen, listen. That's the reason why I'm always telling you before we start the program, before we start the service, ask. God's wisdom and knowledge. Amen. Because even though this is an English conference, <laughs> I like this it. This is an English conference. <laughs> even though this is an English conference, uh -huh, even though this is an English conference of our episode, you will still be able to get a lot of things if Amen. you ask God's wisdom tonight. Amen. You got. He will never let you get out of this program, or he will never uh, let you uh, uh, end this program without getting anything. No, he won't do that. He won't do that. We're all here for a purpose. This is all God's plan. You're here. It's God's plan. You're watching. It's God's plan. Amen. That's why let's all thank God that we have this special episode. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we don't have this. Sure you know, you <laughs> tomorrow, Brother Blake will not be here, and... Uh, uh, and uh, Brother Blake will not be here. Brother Spencer will start crying. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care of you, baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> I on, promise. Man. I promise. I, got, I know you. I promise. Yeah. I will, yeah. I'll I got, take care of your baby That's boy. Was, hey, I got you'll, you. You'll, you'll pick on him. For me, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He'll right. take care. I'll pick. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Big brother Blake now. Yeah. Right here. Big brothers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the purpose of big brothers. That's right. We're the American bullies. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. yeah, well, anyways, uh, again, we're blessed, and I believe that God blesses us with this special episode. That's why uh, let's continue on. Try to review. You know, I, I, I believe that you will still get something if you will, uh, uh, if you will uh, uh, review this episode. Review nyo. Review nyo. Balikan nyo. Balikan nyo. Maganda yung mga sinabi sa atin, Brother Blake. Maganda yung mga milensyo niya para sa inyo. Huwag nyo pahindulutan na mamiss nyo yan. All right, all right. So again, I we will now uh, uh, end our program. But before we end our program, magpalang muna tayo, sir Maki, if you want to. I like. I just like to. Uh, I just like to uh, once again see those who are in Google Meet. Google. Magilabas nyo nga muna sila. And I just like to wave your hands for those of you under the Google Meet. Some young people. Ni naman siya ni. Ay sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Just, uh, mission churches. Yeah. Amen. Some of mission churches. Sa jema mission churches na din. Ay jan sila. Sapang dalaga. Sapang dalaga. Kaloocan, Antique. Antique. Yeah, and amen, amen. They they are there, the young people from the mission are watching wow, as well. I think the uh, Ramos and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah panike, they're Ramos already and here. Panike, yeah. Where where you, the the church, the mission yes, where you went? Yes. Yeah, they're there. They're amen. watching as well. I talked to those young people. Amen. I'm amen. proud of you. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, it's a great blessing again. Thank you for being with us. But before we end this program. Before we end this program, I'd like to request uh, you to stand up because uh, we ju we have a uh, special token for you. I would just Hi. like to recognize all the leaders. You'll meet them later, but uh, uh, I would like to request all the uh, leaders to stand up. Amen. All right, we, th those are our leaders. You can see them. They will uh, be there with us, and uh, we have a uh, special. Give the leaders and uh, uh, with us as well. We have a special gift for you, and uh, prayerfully, you go, this is just a gift. Prayerfully, it will fit, <laughs> you know. But it's that's the biggest fit, size. Man. That's the biggest size. That's my size. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Thank you so much. You want, you want to open it? So much, yeah. You want you want to open it? Yeah. yeah. Let me hold that for you. Oh yeah, you're wearing green. Yeah, you match. <laughs> Amen. Nothing. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, he meant, he meant, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He meant. Uh, With yeah. the first pick. <laughs> and the first pick on uh, 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, 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 amen. amen, amen. amen. Hey, I, I just, I, I want to say something real fast. I wanna, All right, listen, listen. I, I want to tell you thank you. Man. Amen. All right, I, I love you guys. Amen. amen. I do. I love, I love the young people watching. Uh, and when I say I love you, I'm not being cliche about it. I mean it. I, I, I love you, young people. Anytime I go to a church, I want to see the young people. Amen. I Amen. want to see the young people. Okay. Yeah. Now remember what I said. All right, listen. Remember what I said. The most important thing in your life is to fall in love with Jesus Christ. Amen. That's it. I promise you, I promise you, if you do that in your life, you'll never regret it. Amen. 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 I can't thank you, Brother Blake and uh, Brother Spencer. Thank you for joining us in this program. And uh, for those of you who are watching the Facebook Live and the Google Meet, thank you for being us once again. And uh, again, this is a great blessing for us. All right? So uh, see you all on our next episode. Amen. And we believe that uh, God will continually help you young people not to be sidetracked by the world. Amen. 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 Again, kita kita tayo on the next episode of the program. Sing a lot. God bless you all and have a blessed evening. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than just a story. King of glory, I'm glad I know who Jesus is. In a little town of Bethlehem, so many years ago, they told him there was no room in the inn. But they had no of knowing who they had turned away, the Lamb of God who would take away their sins. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than just a story. He's the King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. So many people still today don't know who Jesus is. They've never felt this peace within their souls. But I want my life to show them that they had turned away. He's the only one who cleanses and make me whole. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than just a story. He's the King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end is the counselor delivered to me is the everlasting father